to work, you use ways, and that's obviously, you know, algorithm and artificial intelligence. And uh, if you are doing Google search, and uh, they will anticipate what kind of sentences and what you are looking for, and they will try to complete your phrases. And that's um, also algorithm artificial intelligence in work. So artificial intelligence is already kind of embedded and that you don't see it and in our lives. And uh, that kind of applications will also translate on the B2B side and somehow the marketers will just need to understand what that is and be aware of it. I think I agree and I disagree with Pam simultaneously. You know, Steve, when you look at what you listed at the head end of this with, you know, things like email websites is, is being the shiny new things. And the reality was they were the shiny new things and they are here to stay simultaneously. So I think AI is, is in that same bucket. There's many things where AI has penetrated and is making a tangible difference in the world. Or I think I disagree with Pam is I think people have rushed into AI because it's a technology that really needs to mature. If you think of the AI, there's two different aspects to it. One is the algorithm and the other is the data set. The algos, it is true that people like Google have wonderful AIs. It wasn't always clear to me as a marketer for whose benefit that AI was for. You know, and the second part of that after the algos is the, the data, which is you need to have large training data sets. So if you're a CPG company or you're a B2C company and you have massive amounts of traffic, then the AI can be useful. If you're much more of a niche manufacturer or something, you may not have enough volume to generate the data to give you something meaningful. So AI, is it the shiny new thing? Yes and no.